Welcome to the Dr. Aaron Show. May you live your truth. Good morning, live from Los Angeles. This is Dr. Aaron. We come together each day to know the truth, live on spiritual principle, and align with universal law and our unique truth. We also come together in Soul Society, the vision of being the number one spiritual leaders community in the world, committed to enlightenment, empowerment, and entrepreneurship. So let's do this thing. We're going to talk about the power of decision or letting go of indecision. One and the same, right? So the truth is is that you are a powerful spiritual being, that the moment that you decide, powerfully decide, you set a motion to the entire universe through the polarity, through the decision, the, the identity truly in the soul that sets an entire stream of events. And so as we awaken, as we come into this power, the truth of who we are, we have to release the things that get in the way. All spiritual work is really releasing and getting out of the way of the truth of our true identity, the I am factor. So I work with people of dealing with how to make decisions, how to know their truth, and how to release this indecision. So it brings me back, um, some years back, I had a client, she came to me uh, for spiritual counseling, and she literally felt paralyzed mentally when when she would get totally overwhelmed with everything in life. There was days when she couldn't decide like even what to eat for dinner. At one point, she perceived every choice as like a permanent thing in her life. And just she got so stressed out by the littlest choices that she had to make. And her whole life started unraveling like she lost her boyfriend, her job, her health began to decline because she became so stressed out. And everyone around her was like, you know, of course, if someone can't make decisions, it's not going to work very well, right? So indecision, procrastination and lack of commitment are your silent monsters for many people. And I think it's something that we rarely even talk about. You know, I think there's a lot of people out there that are really stressed out about decisions. I know for myself, you know, in business, when I've got to make big decisions and commit to, you know, different delegating different things or taking on different platforms that are commitments, like there's commitments, there's, there's monetary commitments to taking on different areas. Sometimes it can be stressful, but you exhale into it. And I'm going to tell you a process at the end of things you can do for it. So basically, all choices have consequences. The, the truth is that the soul is never neutral. The soul is never neutral. So the point that we have to make decisions or not make decisions, it's really not about making decisions. It's realigning to what our truth is and what we're truly committed to. And I'm going to take you through some of those processes. So many people, people flitter and flatter about life being non-committal. They jump jump from one thing to the next thing and they never see things through. But the point is this is that it's it's a facade. It's a false identity. And it's really them not getting clear of who they are and what they're truly committed to and their true values. Lots of people go round and round in circles, never choosing a destination, or they start and stop projects over and over again, never completing cycles. And I can completely identify with that. I was one of those people in my 20s, and I thought something is majorly wrong with me, and I couldn't see things through. And it was just really, it was my soul, it was the part of myself that was really trying to create a breakdown for a breakthrough. So you know, ironically, this behavior ensures exactly what the person fears the most, because life backs them into a corner where they must make a choice. Life demands that you make a choice. Have you ever felt like that? Like life is like, it's like putting you into a corner, saying, what do you really want? Trying to take your order over and over again. Choice does not equal more freedom. Okay, Swartz in the paradox of choice, brilliant TED talk, and book maintains too many choices cause you to have lofty expectations. And it is in these expectations that lead to disappointment. He discusses how even going to purchase groceries, it became difficult with 285 varieties of cookies, 75 different iced teas, 230 soups, 175 different salad dressings, 40 different types of toothpaste. 
He also mentions how overwhelming it can be to buy a stereo. He researched there were six six point five million varieties of different stereo systems. We live in the technical information age that has left some of us paralyzed by choice. I don't know if you guys feel that, but sometimes there's so much information that just to get things done, I shuffle things around sometimes. And then I'm like, oh, I got to get grounded again, get in source, get in my knowing, get what I'm committed to, and then powerfully take action. So they say knowledge is power, but we have trained our brains to have attention deficit by multitasking. We text while we're driving, internet browse while we're dining, working and checking you know, personal emails, chatting on Facebook during meetings, the list goes on. Even getting into coffee, I mean, think about coffee itself. We have so many choices. Do you want it hot, organic, skinny, coffee-free, short, tall, grande, venti, double shot, steam milk, half-calf, blended, latte, cappuccino, cream? I mean, come on, really? There's a lot. I mean, think about how many thousands and thousands of, of decisions you have to make. And that's why the subconscious mind is so brilliant. The subconscious mind collapses everything so we don't have to make decisions. It clumps things into packages, which is a good thing and not a good thing. Because then when we want to make new choices, we have to uncollapse those things and really truly become conscious of what we are choosing. So, you know, people want clarity. I think that it's one of the main things people come to me for for subconscious work is yes, they want to heal. But that's not necessarily what's driving them because they don't realize that, oh, I want to heal from this really terrible thing that happened for me. But what they want is they want to have clarity. They want to have power. They want to reclaim that power and know and live in alignment with their truth. That's what they really seek. And so, you know, coming into this and knowing that within you, there is a knowing there is a bliss and the universe always knows what it desires because you, whatever it is that you truly desire is what you have clarity around. Sometimes people want to know their purpose and calling. They want to decide what that is, but they don't realize that in just following their bliss is where they're going to find their purpose and calling. So the only decision you really ever have to do is to follow your bliss. That's the decision. Because the truth is the only opponent is yourself. Say yes to the things you love. Say yes to the passions you have. Say yes to only speaking, you know, your truth. Spend time doing the things you love. Do things with people that you love. Commit to yourself. Commit to that bliss. Commit to happiness. Commit to fulfillment. That's the true practice of letting go of indecision. Letting go of indecision takes getting down to the core of who you are. And so I'm going to take you through a couple little processes around getting clarity. So what you do to get into clarity is you get down to your core values and your core commitments. That's where you have clarity. So anywhere you're having indecision, and we call it, you know, confusion or upsets or, you know, feeling overwhelmed, it's because you haven't gotten into what you're truly committed to. So first, you need to simplify your life. Say no to all the things that don't truly call to you. Throw out all the things in your life that are confusing or that are just taking your energy and get down to the basics. Get down to the basics of what you're truly committed to and spend time and focus time on those things that that give you a good ROI, return on your investment, return on when you spend time in doing those things. Maybe you love laughing. Maybe you'd love taking a class, um, an impromptu class, a, a comedy class, learning how to just really be around those people that are laughing a lot and spend time doing that. Maybe you love being outdoors, spend more time doing that and make the decision to do that. Let go of too much information and get down to the basics of the value. What drives you? What is your true goal when it comes to the four areas of your life? What's the goal with your money and career? What's the true goal when it comes to love and relationships? What's the true goal about your health and vitality and your creative expression? Those are the four areas. And when you get clear of what the number one goal is, then you have solved half the problem. Most people just don't know what they want. And that's fine. If you don't know what you want, then at least go out and experiment, go, go discover, go venture out there and just follow your bliss. And so in that today, we talk about the law of emergent evolution. And this law states that during evolution, upon demand for life to prevail, there emerges new properties for every 
thing. So the fifth finger emerged out of the necessity for survival. Form transforms upon consistent consistency of consciousness. When the individual demands and commands a subconscious and subjective mind, the universal law is set into motion. You must demand your must-haves in life. This is where you get clear, I have to have this. This is my one goal and my one must-have in the areas of my life. Begin to say no to the things that don't speak to your heart and say yes to the things that make your heart sing. What must you have in your relationships? What must you have for your health? What must you have financially? What must you have to be self-expressed? Now ask yourself, am I willing to do what it takes to obtain my must have? And what wisdom do I need to embody to be the person equivalent to having this life? You know, oftentimes we hear people, oh, I I can't make a decision. You know, they're dating people and they can't decide who and they just complain about what they don't want. What do you want? What is your must have? What, what are you, what's your primary goal? And why? Why is that your goal? Start asking yourself, start becoming conscious of what you're doing. Stop walking around like a freaking robot in life. Step back and ask yourself, why? Why do I want this relate? Why do I want a relationship? Because just what the, what the culture told me? Or is it because I truly desire compatibility? Or is it because I truly desire, you know, to create a family? What is it? What is driving you? And that's gonna be different for each person. Why do you want X amount of money? Because you want to keep up with the Jones? Or because you want to have enough money to have an impact and make a difference in the world? What is that why for you? What are you truly committed to? Get clear of what your must haves are in your four areas of your life. And magically, indecision goes away. And so on that note, I just know a powerful day, a powerful decision, knowing that you can look back in your life, and you can see where you made powerful decisions and how it changed your entire world instantaneously the moment that you made that. And I know today is another powerful day to maybe clear out your life, contemplate what really matters to you, and decide how you want to move forward with this week, with this day, with your life. And just knowing this, I know that there's a truth within you that needs to be birthed, that needs to be clarified, that anywhere you're feeling indecision is your soul, your true self saying, wake up. This is not our truth. This is out of alignment. This doesn't feel good. I know there's clarity that lives and breathes in you as you, you already know. And so I just simply know this as together we say, and so it is. So go ahead and check out Soul Society, you guys. Um, that's S-O-U-L-C-I-E-T-E.com. Or you can go to DrErin.tv, D-R-E-R-I-N.tv. Have a divine day and may you live your truth. Thanks again for tuning in to Dr. Aaron and Soul Society podcast. I'd like to invite you to write a review on iTunes. Also, I have a free gift for you, a money meditation and worksheet, which you can find at soulciety.com. That's www.soulciete.com. Or 30 guided meditations at drerin.tv. That's www.drerin.tv. We also hold monthly Soul Society events that are all about transformation and building extraordinary community. You can also watch me live daily on goodmorninglalaland.com or Instagram at drerin.tv. Grab your free manifestation masterclass with the purchase of my international best-selling book, Awakening, a 40-day guide to unleashing your spiritual powers, life purpose, and manifesting your dreams at erinfallhaskell.com forward slash awakening book.